Hi. Okay. Hi. I'm Shantanu. I'm here to present my paper at this year's ICML. In this paper, we aim to blur the distinction between post hoc explanations and interpretable by design models without compromising the performance. Deep learning model design is dichotomous. Either we create a black box and explain it post hoc, or we go for the interpretable by design models. For example, concept bottleneck models. Here in this case, these are some of the important concepts useful to predict a dog. Concept bottleneck models use a concept predictor to predict the concept from an image and then the class label from the predicted concepts. So let's summarize the pros and cons of both these methods. Post hoc methods does not alter the black box by preserving its flexibility and the performance. However, their explanations can be inconsistent. Also, we cannot fix the black box in case of a misclassification. So algorithmic recourse is not directly possible. On the other hand, concept-based interpretable by design methods support concept level intervention to fix a model's prediction. However, they require substantial machine learning expertise to design and optimize. Also, they achieve suboptimal performance compared to their black box design. So in this regard, our research question is how to blur this distinction. We first want the interpretable models to preserve the performance and the flexibility. So we iteratively carve out the interpretable models from the black box. Also, we want our interpretable models to support the test time intervention. So our model is concept-based, not the pixel-based. Also, we provide first-order logic explanation for concept-level interaction. Our first assumption is that the initial black box F0 to be a composition of an encoder phi and a classifier H0. Also, we assume to have the concepts either in the training data set or we get them from external sources. Following the prior work, we use the encoder phi to learn a projection to get the soft concept values. These soft concept values will be the input to our interpretable model. Here is an illustrative example of our method. In this example, we aim to classify the shape of an object. The initial black box cover all the samples. Then we extract the first interpretable model G1 from the black box to cover the orange samples. There will be a part of the black box that the interpretable model does not approximate well. We term it as the residual shown by R1 in the picture. We, this R1 will gonna cover the remaining black samples. Similarly, the interpretable model G2 will gonna cover the green samples. The residual R2 will cover the remaining black samples. Here is a flow of our entire method. After training, all the interpretable models cover the majority of the samples cumulatively. We call them as the mixture of interpretable expert. Each expert produce sample specific first order logic expression to explain the prediction. Throughout the process, the encoder phi remains fixed. First, we show our method identifies diverse concepts. For example, here, the breast color gray and the tail pattern solid are unique to expert one for these four samples to identify them 
as olive sided flycatcher. Similarly, underparts color gray and wing color gray are unique to expert two to identify this particular sample as olive sided flycatcher. Finally, this particular sample remains unexplained and it will be covered by the final residual. Next, we show our method does not compromise the performance of the black box. We can see that the gap between the performance of the black box and our method is minimum compared to the baselines. Next, we leverage the Waterbird's data set and apply our method to eliminate the shortcut learning problem. First, we train a biased black box. We can see that the performance of the black box for water birds on water is greater than that of the water birds on land. This is because the black box uses the water shortcut to classify the water birds. Then we extract the interpretable model from the biased black box. Here we see that the spurious concept forest pops up in the FOL explanation for a water bird misclassified as a land bird. Next, we eliminate the spurious concepts from the encoding tree using metadata normalization and extract our interpretable models again from the black box. As a result, we can see that our model achieves similar performance for water birds on water versus water bird on land. And finally, we extract the FOL. And we can see that the water birds are correctly classified and the spurious concept forest is gone from the extracted FOL. We have more results. Come to our poster session. Thank you.